Hello and welcome back. This is now part two of Larksmead House. Um, I'm deciding here to design the roof. Um, I'm just having a bit of a doodle. I want to use um, a couple of different designs. I want loopy kind of edged tiles and then some straight ones like that. So I'm going to use wooden tongue depressors because we've got the perfect looped edge. I'm also making a little circular window in this um, raised window area that I'm going to attach to the roof, like a dormer, but a wee bit more gothic -y. Um I'm going to, gothic -y, that's the word, I'm going to make a chimney as well and I'm thinking of doing some ornate kind of chimney pots on the top, so I need some inspiration for that yet, but here we go, let's get started on the window. So. Here I'm using some hardboard as the base of the window frame. Um, just basically I'm making a box that the little window is going to sit on. It's, it should do the job. After this is done, when I've made the shape, I'm going to cover it with wooden pieces like um, coffee stirrers probably just to make it look like it's cladded. So I've made the ledge that I need for the whole thing to sit on. And that is the base attached to the roof and the sides have gone in and that's a little window at the front I've glazed it with um, acetate I thought I'd use a color for a change instead of just being a uh, plain clear color so now I need to make the roof of the window box kind of thing that I made I don't know what to call it anyway so here's the roof and it's like a like a weird shaped thing which made it quite difficult to sort out with the angles but I got there in the end here it is and it's worked out okay perfect shape for what I need and follow along as I carry on with this project see you next time bye